So what does a redundancy effect look like in the classroom and how can we overcome it? Here are three examples. First is to not read information that students are already reading for themselves. Why is this the case? Therefore, if we're giving them something to read, such as a quote, let them read it, as opposed to reading it to them. Second, and we see this a lot, is too many words on a slide. I'm going to represent a slide with lots of information on it using these nine crosses here. The green crosses represent irrelevant information or redundant information. And the red crosses, well, they're the core messages that you are trying to get your students to remember by putting a slide up. And the problem with putting up a slide with many, many words on it is this, is that in the worst case, your students will remember mainly the irrelevant or the redundant information. And in the best case scenario, they only partially remember the important messages, the messages that you're trying to get them to remember. So a top tip here is to identify those core cool bits of information, i.e. those red crosses, and be concise and only write those bits of information down on the slide. And the third and final example of the redundancy effect in the classroom is probably excessive PowerPoint animations. Now, of course, we all want our lessons to be fun and engaging. But the danger is, by adding all the bells and whistles, what students end up remembering is the redundant animation and not the important content of the lesson that you really want them to remember. So there we have three common examples of the redundancy effect in action in the classroom and what to do about it. So that'll be talking over a slide while your students are reading it, too many words on the slide, and excessive PowerPoint animations. Please take a bit of time now to reflect on when the redundancy effect happens the most in your classroom, and also how you could overcome it better. Better still, please go to this button up here, Mark Discuss, press that button and write your answer down in our online forum. So if you're looking for more resources like this that are useful, research-based and easy to use, then go to the Teacher CBD Academy now. now.